Mr O'Mara here. I want to talk to you very quickly about some of the work we're going to be doing with Worley and working out what values are in this text. Texts tell us, texts have a point of view, the people who made them. They tell us, by the way, who we like in the story, who we cheer for, what we're disgusted by. They give some things the thumbs up and they give other things the thumbs down. Obviously, when you're giving something the thumbs up, you're saying this is valuable, you're endorsing that. You're valuing that. And if you're giving it the thumbs down, if it's bad behaviour, then you're saying we don't value this. So I want to give you an example of this from the film Wally. -E. And this is the task that you're going to be doing. And I'm talking about curiosity. Now, curiosity is not among your tasks. I've deliberately left it out so that I can talk to you about it in this quick tutorial. Not everybody values curiosity. Some people think you're better off keeping your noses out of things. Hence the expression, curiosity killed the cat. People don't all agree that it's good to be curious. Some people think you're better off without it. Some people think that it's the very essence of what it is to be human. So you can value it or not value it. So let's look for some images in Wally -E that relate to curiosity. Now I've put a whole bunch of images on the W drive for you and there's a link in the OneNote. I would say that when we're presented with people like these passengers, these nameless passengers here, who are just sitting there consuming, staring at their screens, not noticing the world, they're not differentiated from one another. They're just kind of identical millions or thousands of passengers. We don't particularly value them. This is not set up as, gee, it's good to be one of those people. It actually doesn't look like that great a life. They're like big babies. They're just staring at things, sucking on their um, drinks because they're too lazy to eat. So I would say that that's an image you could put in and say, we're not really valuing people who aren't curious. However, we do value people who are curious. Both Evie, uh, sorry, Eva and Wally are forever looking at things. They're actually holding it up in their hands. They're being active. She solves this Rubik's Cube problem very quickly. They both look at the world and investigate it. Wally particularly, even when he's all on his own, been working for probably 700 years, and yet he's forever playing with things, seeing what they do, and he's rewarded for his curiosity. We see here that he's playing with the fire extinguisher, and later on he actually uses the fire extinguisher in space as a method of propulsion. Uh, and of course they get some comic moments out of him investigating things. But again, we laugh with him, we're on his side, we like him being curious. And, of course, we see the captain, who starts off being, like all the other humans on the ship, pretty useless. And, not you know, you don't really like him as a character. But then he comes to life and he gets interested in the world and he starts to investigate it and he stands up for himself. So I've collected five images that, create to curio that relate to curiosity. And you'll be collecting images, too, to relate to the concept you're doing. So then you've got to put together 50 to 100 words. So here's an example of what that might look like. Uh, the feature film Wally values curiosity, and then I go on and define curiosity, where people and robots are interested in the world around them and want to learn more about things. So I'm just said, I'm saying I reckon they do, it does value it, and here's what curiosity means. I talk about Wally. Wally, the hero of the movie, is curious from the first time we meet him. He not only works hard, but he collects interesting objects and plays with things such as the underwear and the fire extinguisher to see what they are. Again, just bringing in little examples from the film saying how, um, what the film's got to say about curiosity. I then say not everyone is curious in the story of Wally. The passengers on the Axiom mostly sit around in their hover chairs and stare at screens. Only a couple break out of this habit and notice the world around them. We are meant to admire these curious people and largely ignore all the sheep who notice nothing about the world. So I'm showing an example of when it's not really praising people who aren't curious. So curious, good. Not curious, not good. And finally, the ship's captain, and I've missed an apostrophe there, in particular is a pathetic character and no one would take it all seriously until he starts to take notice of the world. He starts to investigate and learn about the world and soon he is moved to action and helps save the day. This film certainly values his curiosity. So I'm giving another example of where curiosity is a good thing in the film. And then I'm just wrapping it up. In the film Wally, -E, curiosity is valued. So I'm just saying, yes, this is something this film values. I will tell you right now, it doesn't value everything. There are lots of things this film makes no comment, comment on whatsoever, and some things it's saying are bad, but it's saying curiosity is good. So back to my response. In this story, it's better to wonder about the world and investigate than to just ignore the world around you. So they're pretty simple sentences to put together, and I have written 206 words, which is twice as much as you need to. So if you're wondering, how am I going to write 50 to 100 words? 
It's easy. Just look at the images that you've collected and go through and explain how they relate to the concept. It's pretty straightforward and of course you've got your teachers to help you.